Elon Musk believes that the humanoid robot Optimus could become not only Tesla's most valuable product in the future, but perhaps even the most valuable in history. The company, which has gone beyond being just a car manufacturer, is increasingly establishing itself as a giant in artificial intelligence and advanced robotics. Musk recently caught the world's attention again by announcing a new and special mission involving Optimus. However, the robot is no longer just an assistant in industrial environments. The latest improvements show that it has far exceeded initial expectations. According to leaked information, Optimus has achieved an impressive level of autonomy, being able to operate independently even in extremely adverse conditions such as disaster zones, places affected by epidemics and inhospitable environments. This is possible thanks to its state-of-the-art artificial intelligence, which allows the robot to adapt to situations that were not previously programmed. Furthermore, Optimus has a self-repair system, which ensures its continuous operation without the need for human intervention. When we add this capability to its energy efficiency and highly advanced sensors, we have an agile, precise machine that is prepared for increasingly complex challenges. But the big question is, is Optimus still just an advanced tool or is it already transforming into something bigger? An entity with the ability to make decisions and act independently. Could we be facing a bigger mission involving Optimus? Something that has not yet been fully revealed to the public? These are questions that make us reflect and that we will explore in this special episode of the channel. Today the Tesla Bot Gen 3 has gone from being a futuristic idea to a key part of Tesla's growth plan. What was once a joke, a clumsy robot that could barely walk, is now a respectable one. The transformation is the result of Tesla's tireless work to achieve human-like performance and provide real-world utility. Let's face it, for a while, Optimus was a meme. People compared his movements to a child learning to roller skate or an uncle trying not to slip on a wet floor. But that's changed drastically. Tesla has released a new update and it's completely changing the public's perception. The company is doing what it has always done best, surprising with results. That clumsy prototype is transforming into a sophisticated, efficient, and intelligent machine. With each new generation, Optimus becomes lighter, faster, and more adaptable gaining ground not only in factories, but also in domestic and professional environments. Now Tesla is preparing to deploy Optimus Gen 3 directly on the CyberCab production line at its massive Giga Texas factory. The robot will take on repetitive and exhausting tasks that are normally performed by two or three workers. This represents a huge step forward. Greater efficiency, lower operating costs, and fewer accidents in the workplace. In practice, Optimus will be responsible for lifting, assembling and transporting vehicle parts, which speeds up production and redefines the entire logic of the assembly line. In a market where delivery speed is essential for competitiveness, this could mean a decisive advantage. If you've watched the latest video released by Elon Musk, you'll have noticed that something has changed. Optimus now walks like a normal person, not just in the factory, but also in his home environment. The clumsy movements have given way to a fluid walk, with a steady heel-to-toe gait arms moving naturally, and an upright posture. Milan Kovac, the Optimus project leader, recently revealed, Our new walking pattern with straight knees, more natural heel-to-toe stride and smooth arm movement was trained entirely in simulation with reinforcement learning. And stop and think about it. Optimus learned to move on its own, not by hand coding but through virtual experiments repeated millions of times, improving with each attempt. This is real artificial intelligence in action, learning, adapting, and evolving with every movement. That old way of walking with knees always bent seemed strange to many, but it was actually a technical feature to maintain stability in the early stages of development. A lower posture helps prevent falls while the robot's balance system is still being built. Today, that early stage is behind us. Tesla can now focus not only on safety, but also on the elegance of its movement and the public has noticed the difference. A robot that walks naturally generates more empathy and acceptance, whether in homes, public spaces, or businesses. Optimus initially moved at a modest speed of about 3 feet per second, 0.98 MIS, which was enough for basic tasks. But with recent upgrades, the goal is to reach speeds of up to 7.5 feet per second, 2.32 MIS, roughly the same speed as a human walking. And that changes everything. Because when it comes to robots, 
Speed isn't just about locomotion, it's about utility. A faster robot can perform more tasks, keep up with the pace of a human environment, and become more efficient. This combination of agility and fluidity is completely transforming the scenario. And one of the places where this revolution is being put into practice is on the CyberCab assembly line at Giga Texas. Elon Musk has confirmed that Optimus will play a central role in this operation. The factory in Austin, which already produces models such as the Model Y and is preparing for production of the Cybertruck, has also become a laboratory for advanced technologies, robotics, automation, and artificial intelligence. Imagine replacing two or three people with a single robot trained to perform repetitive tasks with complete precision. This is no longer a theoretical concept. It's already being tested. Optimus is being evaluated in real factory environments, and the results are promising. These tasks require millimeter precision and can be exhausting for humans. The robot, on the other hand, can repeat them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without losing performance. In tests conducted at Tesla facilities, Optimus learned to identify and separate small automotive parts based on their size, function, and required torque. All of this using its cameras and reinforcement learning. In just three days, it increased its accuracy by 40% without adding a single line of code. This kind of advancement improves efficiency, reduces downtime, and frees up human workers to focus on more complex tasks. This signals a new phase, human-machine collaboration that goes beyond simple automation. Optimus has become Tesla's trump card in the practical application of artificial intelligence. The same neural network architecture used in full self-driving now enables the robot to understand and interact with the physical world. And with the support of the Dojo supercomputer, Optimus doesn't just respond to commands, it learns from its environment. This ability to continuously learn is a decisive differentiator. Most robotics companies simply cannot evolve as quickly, as they do not have access to the same volume of data. Tesla, on the other hand, takes advantage of its existing production structure, reusing components such as batteries, motors, and drive systems from its electric cars. This vertical integration reduces costs and makes it possible to bring Optimus to market for around $20,000. In other words, for the price of a used car, you could have a robot in your home that washes dishes, folds clothes, or assembles parts in a factory. In a pilot program outside Austin, Tesla showed Optimus prototypes performing real household tasks, carrying groceries, washing dishes, vacuuming floors, mopping, making coffee, cooking, and even serving drinks to residents. All of this was possible thanks to the reinforcement learning method, where the robot makes mistakes, learns from them, and improves in virtual environments before even entering into action in the real world. As a result, when deployed in a home or factory, Optimus is already prepared with a smaller margin of error and a much faster learning curve. If all goes according to plan, Tesla intends to ramp up production quickly, somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 Optimus units as early as next year, and up to half a million robots within three years. Elon Musk refers to this as the Roman Legion model. 5,000 units by 2025, 50,000 by 2026. That's not just ambition, it's industrial scale. Tesla is paving the way for this technology to be applied across a wide range of industries. Optimus Gen 3 represents not just a leap forward in hardware, but a new era of improved balance, natural movement, and real-time decision-making, thanks to Dojo integration. The robot is now performing over a thousand different tasks, from operating industrial machinery to folding t-shirts, and every day he is learning more and more, adapting better to human homes. Optimus is no longer just a robot, he is almost becoming a member of the family. Imagine an elderly couple being helped by an Optimus. He reminds them of their medication, responds to voice commands, and even tells them about appointments for the day. They don't just see Optimus as a useful tool, he's described as a true presence. That's the emotional layer. Trust, connection, familiarity. Optimus Gen 3's mission is to lead this new era. From the way it walks to the speed at which it learns, it's the most advanced humanoid assistant available for commercial applications. And contrary to what many expect, Tesla is in no rush to bring it to market. Rather than rushing its launch, the company has opted to keep it in training mode on its own production lines. This strategy allows the robot to collect valuable data in real-world work environments, honing its skills and learning to perform a wide range of tasks. If the tests continue to go well, 
Optimus could move beyond simple tasks like sorting parts or cleaning and take on more critical roles in the assembly of electric vehicles. Last year, rumors surfaced that the robot was still being operated remotely, raising questions about its autonomy. After all, what good would a robot be if it depended on humans to function? Imagine buying an Optimus expecting automation, only to find that you had to manually program every action. That would take weeks, maybe even months, and would be frustrating. But here's where many people get confused. Tesla isn't controlling Optimus remotely because he lacks the ability. In fact, this process helps speed up his learning. Just like us, he learns by observing, repeating, and correcting mistakes. Instead of being limited to line-by-line -line coded instructions, he learns by example, recognizing patterns and performing tasks that he's never been directly taught. This teaching method is what is allowing Tesla to rapidly improve the robot's intelligence. The goal is for it to get to the point where it can watch a video demonstrating a human activity and then replicate it on its own. This type of advancement paves the way for something unprecedented, the mass production of functional humanoid robots. If Optimus proves to be useful in Tesla's factories, there's no reason it can't be applied across a range of industries. Companies in all industries could be interested and those that ignore this innovation risk being left behind. In recent tests, Optimus has already shown that it can climb stairs and walk on uneven terrain. While its speed is not yet very high, its ability to adapt to different types of terrain suggests that it could handle difficult environments, such as mines, slopes, and who knows, even caves on Mars. Jokes aside, the most impressive thing is that it doesn't just move around. It understands, learns, and makes decisions. In addition to being a versatile robot, Optimus can analyze rocks, search for strategic resources like frozen water, and react to unexpected situations. However, one important challenge remains. How would it recharge its battery in remote locations? In normal environments, the robot can simply plug itself into a charging station. But in extreme scenarios, such as underground tunnels or isolated deserts, the lack of electrical infrastructure poses a serious obstacle. Ensuring that Optimus remains powered in such harsh conditions remains an issue to be resolved. When Tesla first introduced the Optimus robot in 2022, it was just an early prototype, still looking chunky and far from refined. At the time, the robot was powered by a 2.3 kWh battery pack made of industry standard 21 to 70 cells. The revolutionary 4680 battery technology wasn't ready for use yet, but that has changed completely. Without much fanfare, Tesla has updated the Optimus with new 4680 cells, a true technological leap. Although the full specifications have not yet been officially released, the data revealed so far is already surprising. The 4680 battery represents much more than just an upgrade. With four times the energy density compared to the old 2170, it gives the robot much more range without increasing the battery size. Most impressively, production costs have been reduced by 27%, paving the way for Tesla to produce millions of Optimus units at a much more affordable cost in the future. The impact of this update is clear. Optimus is now more agile, durable, and efficient. Its weight has dropped from 72 kilos to around 62 kilos. Its autonomy now reaches up to 12 hours of continuous operation thanks to a new 3 kWh battery, capable of powering the robot for an entire work shift without needing to be recharged. But here's the most impressive part. Optimus doesn't need any human help to recharge itself. It locates the charging station on its own, positions itself precisely, automatically connects, and once fully charged, disconnects from the station and gets back to work, all autonomously. What's more, while an electric car takes between 30 and 40 minutes to reach a full charge, the Optimus, with its compact battery of less than 3 kWh, can reach 100% in about 10 minutes, or even less. Of course, this applies to Earth. On Mars, the scenario would be much more challenging. One solution under consideration would be to use solar energy, since the red planet still receives sunlight, albeit at a lower intensity. The problem? Martian dust which can easily cover solar panels and reduce their efficiency. In low-light situations or at night, the rover would likely rely on fuel cells or advanced energy storage technologies to continue operating. In any case, we are witnessing a transformation in real time. 
humanoid robots are no longer just attractions at technology events and are being inserted into real environments. We can already see their presence in factories, assembly lines, logistics centers, and even in homes. In the health sector, they are starting to help care for the elderly. At home, the idea of having a robot that cleans, cooks, or takes care of animals no longer seems like the stuff of science fiction. Optimus's ability to locate charging stations and connect to them without human intervention represents a major advance in robotic autonomy. Consider extreme environments like isolated deserts or mining operations, where there is little to no electrical infrastructure. In these cases, this ability to recharge itself could be crucial to maintaining continued operation. Now imagine a robot that not only performs tasks but also learns from its surroundings. As Optimus masters different scenarios, from everyday homes to the most hostile terrain, what will its limits be? With its adaptive intelligence and ability to stay powered without assistance, will it become the ultimate tool for transforming industries around the world?